出現身體大情小症，咁而一啲有吐唇嘅小朋友同埋佢上鄂裂咗嘅咧，佢哋要進行一個矯形手術咧，然後先可以重獲自信嘅。咁原來本地咧有一個慈善嘅團體叫做 Operation Rainbow Canada 加拿大彩虹醫療機構，咁每一年咧都會去到一啲誒發展中嘅國家，為啲小朋友咧係誒做手術係免費嘅。咁今日請嚟佢嘅創辦人同埋主席 Dr. Kim Wright， 同埋咧位義務嘅係醫療服務人員係誒護士嚟嘅，咁佢叫 Helena Hao， 咁啊歡迎兩位 ，Welcome to our show。Oh, thank you for inviting us. Thank you. 咁、yeah. 其實咧，我哋知道咧，呢個機構咧都成立咗段時間嘅。咁但係實際上係幾時成立？咁同埋點解會成立咧？我問阿 Doctor Rice 先。Doctor Rice, when did you set up、uh, ORC and why did you do that? Oh, Operation Rainbow has been set up for over 14 years, close to 15. And the、uh, the reason I set it up was because、um, I had been with an American organization about.、Uh, 20 years ago,、mm. and we were in Mexico at that time. And then、um, I found that most of the members that were there were all Americans, and I was the only Canadian in that team. So when I came back, I thought it would be nice for the Canada to have their own local team that could take members from the various hospitals and go overseas and treat children and become a, totally a Canadian contingent of. Of the, of, the, of, the, of the mission that we tried to fix children up around different parts of the world. And so that instigated me to get started after going to the United States, to Mexico, and then coming back to Canada and establishing ORC. I see. So in the United States, is it mainly、uh, helping children with a cleft lip, or actually they are more broader scope? They, in the United States, we worked with cleft lip and palate organization, a different、mm. organization. And I felt that in my mind that. You know, it was nice if Canada had their own team, and、mm, that's、mm. how I got involved with various members, and then we registered it, and now we are non-profit registered organization in Canada, and we have been doing this for the last 15 years, over 28 missions. Hmm. So, 原來係誒主要咧都喺佢美國已經係參加咗類似嘅組織啟發到嘅。咁我就想知道下個創會個主旨咧究竟係乜嘢。So, what are the missions you want to achieve? Our aim is to have、uh, a Canadian, all Canadian members, to go overseas and treat children in different parts of the world who have facial deformities.、Uh, they have cleft lip and palate. These children, nobody wants to treat them because they're very poor.、Mm-hmm. And and I feel that it's something that you feel inside yourself that you want to give and help someone in the world, and so they can have a better life. At least get an opportunity to go to school and grow up and be good citizens and get married. And many different countries in the world, the poor people are not taken care of very well. So with ORC support and members and funding and raising funds that we go on, I feel very proud that we're able to do this. And we've done over 2,000 children in the last、wow. uh, 14 years. So wow, it's been very successful. 十四年里边帮咗成二千个小朋友都唔简单。同埋 Doctor Ray 都好有愛心啦嚇，咁我想問下 Helena 咧，有吐唇嘅小朋友，除咗係誒觀瞻上唔夠好睇之外，其實喺日常生活上係咪都係一個醫療嘅問題嚟㗎？啊、呃，第一佢哋咧餵食嘅方面咧，阿、嗯、媽媽咧係好辛苦嘅，嗯，因為咧餵嗰啲吐唇嘅，另外啲小朋友啊，餵到一半啊，嗰啲鼻哥啲。即係食嘅嘢會噴出嚟啊，逐親啊，咁啊耳仔容易發炎啦。哦，啊，仲有啲牙咧就唔齊全啦。係啊係啊，我睇嗰啲相咧，有啲嗰啲牙係去咗唔同嘅部分。咁、啊啊、再大啲咧，講嘢咧唔清楚啦，即係講説話咧有問題啊，發發出嚟嘅聲音就唔得啦。嗯。咁咧仲有自卑啦，或者再大啲，心理上，心理上有啲唔係啊。嗯、有啲缺陷噶。嗯嗯，係、嗯、咯，即係我哋初初都以為啊，吐唇即係唔好睇，其實原來仲有咁多附帶嘅，其實係一個誒、呃、健康嘅問題嚟嚇，仲、啊、有心理添，身心都有營養，係啦，我進食唔到就營養不足。So doctor, it's not just an cosmetic thing, it's actually medical issue. Yes, it is.、Mm. Children with cleft lip and palate,、uh, they, uh, especially the ones with the palate deformity, cannot eat properly.、Mm. They're malnourished. They, their health is poor. And the ones with the cleft lip, they end up with、um, 
they look very unattractive mm. and their teeth are not aligned so Lots of so it's nice so right? they they yeah. feel they're basically kept inside the homes mm. and like in some countries that we went to they they never left the house till mm. they were 12 13 years old the only time they ever came outside was when they were ready to have the surgery mm. otherwise they would have still been mm. staying home not going to school not educated that's pretty sad so what causes this kind of deformities? Are they birth defects, genetic disease? Or? It's a combination of events. It's basically a um, defect in terms of genetics. Mm. Um, if a father has a cleft lip and or even the mother has a cleft lip, the chance of the child getting a cleft lip and palate is very high. Oh, really? It goes up about mm. over 10 to 15 mm. percent. But for example, in, uh, in, in Asia, the incidence of cleft lip and palate incidence is one per 700 births. In the Western part of the world, is one in maybe a thousand mm -hmm. births. That's partly also during pregnancy, B12, vitamin B12 and folic acid deficiency can contribute during in a pregnant mother to have possibilities of cleft lip and palate for the child. Mm -hmm. So they encourage, you know, vegetables and things like that for pregnant mothers to take lots of support in Asia. We spend a lot of time educating the public, I mean the children and their families, how they should take care of them mm -hmm. for the future in case they decide to have more children that try to minimize the chance of getting cleft lip and palate deformity. Wow, 这个环境都含量都要好像有些都有些杀虫水啊那些没有用啊没有斗到那些东西都有chemicals啊即系 I was talking to Helena how, how to prevent them? Is there a way to prevent them? Mm, best is to not marry each other you know the mm, if the family 近亲不好, yeah, 不好, so the, mm. the, the problem in Asian countries is Nobody wants to marry a child with a cleft lip, mm. so they land up marrying each families marrying each other. So mm. they produce more children with cleft lip and palate. Just but repeat the problem. You, you, yeah. so, but yeah. for example, I have a friend who is a plastic surgeon, mm. and as a child, he had a cleft lip and is repaired. So there's nothing to do with intelligence. They're very, mm. very normal mm. people, mm. and uh, so even even our attorney general in BC, for example, in the past has has had. Uh, a problem with his cleft lip and palate and you know he's very educated very smart went to the proper universities people in Asia think that people who have a cleft lip and palate are not very clever and so mm -hmm. they need to be educated to show that they're very normal children who can come up in life and become very prominent citizens mm -hmm. so they really need to be treated and mm -hmm. taken care of so doctor, um, are cleft lip uh, patients 100% curable or it actually depends on the case-by-case -case issues? Most of them are very curable. Uh, mm. The advantage is when, they, when the child is born, that's the best time to mold the face together properly and mm. they can align the teeth and as you align the teeth and you align the mouth and the teeth, the teeth may not be there, but mm. I at least call them maxilla. Mm. You find once you align them, the lip becomes in a proper position and then you can repair them. Usually in Canada, we repair the child at the age of three months. Mm. Whereas in Asia, some of them are 20 years old and 30 years old and wow. not repaired. So mm. their mouth alignments are pretty, mm. is mm. very poor. Mm. So it's very, very hard to repair them at that time because, you know, the challenge on us is much higher. Mm. But mm. If we educate them, that's why we go overseas to these countries. We educate them to try and, for because we go mm. more than one time to educate them to align the teeth and mouth a lot better. Mm. By sometimes if the teeth are projecting like this, we tell them to use a band to try and push it back. And mm. so for the next year when we come back, 
it's a better alignment so we can fix the child a little bit better. I see. So, so we try to teach them mm. and as well as operate on them and, and let the local doctors who work there to work with us. Mm. So we let them operate too along mm. with us. So. 其实原来譬如在加拿大,几个月就做这些手术,但有些牙周的地方,医生说有些人十几二十岁才开始做的。我们现在就先休息一阵,我回来再请教医生讲一下他几个医疗之旅的。Dr. Rice, so we actually uh, talk a bit about the funding and other things. Um, what, when you go to overseas, yes. what are the arrangements that you have to do? There are many arrangements we do. First, mm. we have our team organized in Canada, mm. and each one is given a responsibility. We have a coordinator and that coordinator informs all the members who are going on the mission exactly when it's going to happen, what we expect of them, and, and then how, what arrangements they have to do. Overseas, I communicate with the local uh, administrator of the hospital mm -hmm. and the surgeons down there. Mm. We also talk to the government to tell them that we're coming over negotiating mm. with them to come and treat their children uh, for free. We don't charge them anything. So we may need some laboratory tests that, test that might need to be done like their blood and the urine and x-rays of the chest because mm. in Asia, TB and meningitis and gastroenteritis is very common. So many of the children, they are very sick when we go to see them. Wow. So when we prepare all this, then we tell them when we are coming and what time at the airport. So mm. we have to, because we're carrying a lot of our supplies, mm. we carry drugs, we carry uh, our headlights, uh, we carry our instruments and we carry our surgical uh, drapes, sterile drapes from mm. Canada and take it down there. So we have to go through customs. So we need to talk to the local mm -hmm. people there to give us support. Mm -hmm. Otherwise the customs won't let us take our supplies over to treat the children. Mm -hmm. They think we're making profit or something. Mm -hmm. We tell them it's all for free and after that's over, then we go to the hospital and we locate exactly where the operating rooms are. We prepare them ourselves the way we like it. They may have very little electricity power uh, so they, light, they may not have proper mm. lighting, so we carry our own headlights for surgery. Mm. We bring our own headlights, our own anesthetic equipment, our own drugs, so that there's no cost to that country, even a penny. Wow. Everything is through ORC's expense. So mm. the, the country has all the children, families, uh, to free, and even the food that is provided for the families that come in. Let's say if we have 100 children, there mm. may be 300 people. They mm. need to be fed every mm. day too. So we make sure that's taken care of um, as well. Wow, I think the doctor said, it's quite a lot, but it's actually before you have to do so much training. I want to know, is he going to go to many different countries and trips? How many countries and trips you have done in the past 14 years? We've probably done about 28. I have personally done about 28 trips, and maybe over 2,000 children have been treated. Mm. And countries have visited uh, have been many times: Mexico, over five, six times; um, Ch India, five, six times; mm. Cambodia, five times; China. Philippines, China, two times, mm. once. Mm. Hoping to go back again and help mm. them. Mm. And, and Lebanon, Middle East, we've been down there too. So we. We are not traveling from one country to another, we're traveling where they need the help. Mm. So, so we go back to the same country again, like Cambodia, we've been there five times and we're gonna go back and teach the local doctors how to operate and even our own residents of the uh, national organization like the Canadian Society of Plastic Surgeons have educated residents who want to train as plastic surgeons. We mm. take them along with us. Mm. We take our pediatricians and training anesthesiologists so that they learn a lot of uh, difficult procedures that they have to do down in the Asian countries. So not only we teach their patients, mm -hmm. we teach our patients, our doctors good, too. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I was actually about to ask you to. Go ging a jiu mo di gum ge ji yuan gong zhuo jie hai quan ga la dai zhuo wa wan zhi jing hai BC zhuo. So you could all over Canada or just BC? Well, we have all over Canada. 
Uh, but so far, most of our team has come mostly from BC. We mm. have had uh, plastic surgeons from uh, New Brunswick, mm -hmm. plastic surgeons from Quebec, mm -hmm. plastic surgeons from uh, Winnipeg. We mm. have different provinces. We have nurses coming from there too. So mm. we try to, like we had uh, in China, our mission, we had one uh, anesthetist from United States and one from Calgary. Uh -huh. And they came with our team to treat the children in China. So. Wow, it sounds like you actually um, put all the professionals, medical professionals together. together. 似乎是很多醫護人員都是有份去參與的 But how about volunteers? They have other skills Yes um, Can they still participate? Yes, we have volunteers who participate Some of them are excellent in language mm. speaking mm. Some of them are very good playing with children mm. We need them there Some of them who run around to buy us electricity, drugs Like we have professional photo we have pro photographers And mm. like Gary goes with us So he can take pictures and make that happen We have speaking people who speak very well in the language like. Um, we had one of the members uh, running around buying things for us, like we were running out of lunch, for example, or food, mm. or supplies, mm -hmm. or something is broken and we need to fix it. So we have runners, and, and that those are all volunteers who participate in it. Mm. So, Helena, you so 怎樣支持呢? You have mentioned some challenges, but I still imagine that it's really um, quite a bit of difficulties. Yes, it is. Language. Um, some of the <coughs> cities are actually quite remote. Some are quite remote, right? Yes, some cities were quite remote, like yeah. in some parts of the Philippines, it mm. was very difficult. Uh, they had nothing, and we had to bring literally everything. Some centers have got quite a lot of supplies. Like Cambodia is a good example because mm. we went to the uh, che Chima's hospital, which had very little, we had almost like nothing, and we brought everything. How now could you hold all this equipment? We carry to 42 boxes with us, and uh, what you call Cathay Pacific has been quite supportive to help mm. us. Mm. They don't charge us extra mm. when we carry mm. our supplies with them, they've been good with us, so that's mm. why we always fly with them. Mm. And we have taken a huge number of supplies to go to these countries and do the work, otherwise, mm. we don't want to be there and realize mm. they don't have what we need to, mm. to fix the children. So. How about the local medical professionals? Uh, yeah. Is it easy to line up or there's still some challenges there? There's a challenge because they want, we, we make sure that they participate with us mm. because when we finish the surgery, we're only there for 14 days. Mm. And so we teach them how to do the dressings. Mm. We teach the local uh, doctors to how to take care of the patients. Mm. So we they also operate with us so then yes. they can learn how we are doing it and then sometimes we let them do the operation so mm. they can learn from us so they take care of the children when we are gone mm. and that way they become part of the team like mm. they're basically doing work for ORC as well oh, 兩地人合作的醫生在做手術或者都邀請當地醫生做手術跟著又請他們跟進,其實真的很有意義,it's very meaningful. Oh. Yes, it is. So when you how did you funding for the funding is, it is per trip or not necessarily? So trips are pretty expensive. They run mm. an average about $70,000 uh, for a team of 22 of us to go. For one trip? One 10 trip. 10 to 14 days? For 10 to 14 wow. days. And okay. um, uh, many, um, many volunteers, mm. um, funds are raised mm. by individual mm. members. Mm. 
they pay their flight and mm -hmm. then we try and arrange some accommodation. Mm -hmm. In some countries, they support us with uh, accommodation and mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. and Otherwise, we have to pay for mm -hmm. it. So we have, I have certain friends who are very generous and mm -hmm. donate, but mm -hmm. ORC has fundraisers in mm -hmm. the past mm -hmm. where they were able to raise thirty and forty thousand dollars by having a social event wow. or something like that. Dr. Rai, I admire you a lot because I think you have uh, embarked on a very meaningful task. I think it's very important to do it. We need to take a moment to come back with Helena and some other friends to talk about how they are going to help these developing countries and how they are helping these children. Welcome,第三次的大城小聚。我哋今日咧系介绍加拿大彩虹医疗机构，佢哋咧系点样帮啲套上嘅小朋友。咁今日我哋而家加咗几位朋友嘅，我有几位系义工嚟嘅，咁
誒、呃、發展中中嘅嗰啲國家啲小朋友。阿 Lina， 你講得好有意思，即係話嗰個會佢嘅財政係完全透明嘅。透明。嗯，咁呢個好緊要咯，喺誒而家我哋話 fundraising 講嘅。冇人有人工嘅，冇人攞嘅。頭先你話誒 Doctor Rai 係個好優秀嘅醫生，係你可唔可以詳細講？佢即係好啲心地咧，就非常之慈善嘅。佢、嗯、做咗咁多年咧，佢有。小朋友嚟，即係好似我哋已經喺嗰度做十四個鐘頭一日嘅啦。如果有一平均嚟，係十四個鐘頭一日嘅、嗯。因為我哋朝頭早咧七點鐘就開工嘅啦。佢哋醫生咧要去巡房，我哋啲護士咧要開始即係準備嗰個手術室。咁、嗯、咧一直咧要做到夜晚黑，即係有小朋友需要到我哋做嘅咧，我哋都盡量做，嗯、即係冇。冇話伴侶啊，拒絕人哋嘅咧，真係嗰個 doctor 啦，唔會拒絕人哋嘅。唔止係優秀，我諗係真係好有愛心。佢有好有愛心嘅。咁咧，佢一陣我哋做到夜晚黑，就做完啲手術啦。我哋仲要去病房度巡埋今日所做嘅小朋友，所有啲小朋友冇事啦。我哋先翻去我哋嘅住宿度嘅，先食飯嘅。其實咧，一日嚟講咧，誒可以做到幾多個呢啲手術㗎？誒。我哋咧多數咧有兩個手術台嘅，咁、嗯、咧大概做十個至到誒，即係十八個到啦。哇！一日做咁係啊，咁盡量做。其實個手術唔係話真係好繁複嘅，係咪啊？誒、呃、有啲啦，即係我哋一個小朋友最少要一個半鐘頭啦。嗯，嚇、嗯啊，有啲又兩個鐘頭啦，有啲啊、呃、嚴重啲咧，仲長啲添。嗯，成功率係咪好高㗎？啊，成功率都幾高嘅。誒，同埋頭先醫生都講，好似唔係一次嘅，有啲會唔會一啲係做幾次嘅？啊，有啲咧做咗我哋誒翻覆翻去嗰陣時睇佢，再糾正過會嘅、嗯，做兩次，嗯、分兩次做，唔係第一次就做，係、嗯、再翻去第二次再做。咁、嗯、你哋三位裏邊咧，你就去得最多，出得最多係呢啲咁嘅 trip 嘅。咁其實去嘅時候咧，誒、呃、每一個地方係咪都唔同㗎？係。每個地方都唔同，佢哋嗰啲小朋友嘅需求啊，嗰啲嘢都唔同嘅嚇。咁、嗯嗯嗯、最近一次就係同 Angela 去，唔係我冇去到，啊、你就冇去到嗰邊，你就去，你同佢一齊去誒中國嗰、呃、個誒靈異嗰度，講下嗰度嘅情形啊。誒、嗯，嗰度我初初以為會好誒、嗯、落後啦、嗯，不過其實青島係好大個地方，我我唔會知道係第一次去，第一次去嚇、嗯，有好多車。好混亂啊，同埋有好多人咯。咁、嗯、但係去到係咪即刻就已經落手落腳做嘢㗎啦？係啊，我哋、嗯、坐完飛機、坐完車，咁就即刻要誒、呃、見嗰啲病人咯，睇下佢哋適唔適合做手術。嗯嗯啊、你嗰次去咧，嗰團人有幾多人到啊？好似大概有廿幾個。嗯，廿二個。廿二個嚇。咁、啊、當地咧，當地、呃、配合嘅醫療人員有幾多？佢哋當地嗰啲醫生同埋護士都有好多俾我哋、嗯嗯、一齊、呃、學習，因為佢哋可以幫我哋翻譯，嚇、嗯、都有多過成十幾個。嗯、但係佢哋會唔會都做手術㗎？還是誒唔係嘅，都係企喺度，還是有,有做手術參與咗？有，喺、嗯、本地啊，醫生到嗰啲兒科，即係兒口、鼻口、耳嗰啲啊。本地實習醫生都有幫我哋一齊做嘅，阿、嗯、Doctor Rai 會教佢哋點樣同我哋一齊做嘅。嗱、嗯嗯，我你哋三位都誒啱啱係唐人啦，係華裔啦。咁喺 OIC 裏邊誒義工多唔多係華裔啊 ？Len， there's a lot of local Chinese in there.、Um, that's an interesting question. I only met Angela on this trip. I don't,、uh, <laughs> I don't see, know a lot of the doctors as, as I said earlier. But for me, as I'm, I am More of a business pro background,、mm. so for the meetings in the ORC, the operating, I'm not familiar with that. Perhaps、mm. maybe Angela、mm. can answer that question. Or、mm. mm. Angela, or Helena, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
誒嗰啲小朋友咧，佢真係、呃、做之前同做之後個係可以好大嘅唔同，嗰、那個自信係可以翻翻嚟你認為喺、呃、你咁多年嘅參與裏面咧，最挑戰性嘅，又或者最有滿足感嘅係咩咧？滿足感咧，即係、呃、能夠見到嗰啲即係好失望嘅父母啊。嗯啊！見到佢嘅仔啊、女啊，整翻靚咗嗰啲開心啦，已經係我嘅報答嚟嘅，我嘅 reward。呢、嗯嗯這個係好俾我嘅心。佢哋嗰啲燦爛嘅笑容，係啊。咁咧、啊、就最開心就係嗰度見到啊，佢哋嘅父母嗰啲多謝啊，嗰啲開心已經夠啦。嗯嗯嗯。咁、嗯、個、嗯嗯、挑戰咧？挑戰咧就艱難咧，即係準備功夫咯，即、就、係、是。嗯誒、呃、揾到嗰、那個、呃、地方啊，即係國家要同我哋合作一齊做呢、嗯、件事咧，係最最艱難嘅。會唔會有時要,要本地啲、呃呃、慈善機關啊，或者本地啲人啊，政府啊，同、嗯、我哋合作咯？嗰、那個係最艱難。嗯，會唔會有時去到會、啊、失預算啊咁㗎？有啲嘢。或者大漏咗嘢，會唔會咁嘅情形？啊，嗰度啲就唔係好擔心，因為咧有啲可以我哋買，同佢哋買。多數啲即係好似鹽水啊、糖水啊，我哋都係幫佢哋買嘅。本地有嘅話，我哋會本地買。因為如果自己帶埋嗰啲，佢仲重啲添。嗯。哇！我即係其實當聽你啦，聽 Doctor Y 講，其實真係好多資源，要好多支持。我哋希望係多啲人支持個會，支持呢個咁有意義嘅活動。如果有朋友想捐獻，係應該或者想多啲資料，應該係點樣可以係攞到資料同埋捐款？啊、我哋咧就有個網上資料咧，就係、是、www. 啦、嗯、，Operation Rainbow Canada 啦、嗯，就 email 俾我哋都得。仲、嗯、有個咧就最好嘅方法咧，就係、是、同我哋聯絡咧，係啊捐贈助我哋啊，冇捐啊嗰啲錢咧、嗯，就寫去五四三一。嗯、Woodwards Road 喺、嗯、Richmond 嘅、嗯、V 7 E 1 e G 9、嗯、好清楚。咁、啊、電話咧？電話咧就一八八八嚇，同埋嗰個號碼係九五六三三九九。今日咧就係都、嗯、好，希望大家都係熱烈支持啦。今日多謝曬幾位上嚟同我哋講咗、介紹咗咁多呢個情形嘅、嗯，多謝曬幾位。嗯、我哋希望咧，大家都係盡量幫忙，因為小朋友咧能夠多啲燦爛嘅笑容。多謝收睇，下次再見，拜拜。